Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everybody's well. Cancer, you're up. <laughs> you are up for November round two. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising or Venus sign placements. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa, though this really isn't for the cross watchers. Um, the round two readings every month talk more about the specific signs, strengths, and weaknesses. What's coming in, what needs to go, what they got to do to get their desired outcome, all that happy horse shit. So. <laughs> but if you're a cross watcher and you're hanging out, you're more than welcome to stay. I'm perfectly okay with that. If you are new here, think we might vibe and get along. If you want to come hang out more often, that, you know be super cool hit the subscribe button the notification bell so you know when i upload if you're returning thanks for stopping back by i missed your face where the hell you been i got coffee on so you know go grab a cup got some scones going on just reading some tarot on a beautiful friday afternoon oh goodness not quite sure when this is going to post i've been having connectivity issues with moving the furniture around the house. So I don't know if I just have my <clears throat> internet Wi-Fi thingy in a horrible spot or what. I don't know. But anyhow. Okay. I think we're almost there. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos be circulated to those who need the message. I think one more and they're going to be there. Huh. Six of Wands and the Lovers. Maybe someone's trying to get your attention. One more. Two things before I invoke. One, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care who's there, whose cards there are mine or somebody else's. And two, if it's not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It may not be meant for you. And when I'm throwing out pronouns, I'm talking about the person, if there is a person depicted on the card. So insert whatever pronoun works best for you. Place a shelf wherever you see fit. You know the drill. Okay. We're throwing it down to cancer. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for November Round 2. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Cancer to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Cancer, why are you here? Nine of Swords. Ouch. Okay. What's your strength? Two of Cups. What's your weakness? King of Swords. There's two cards, Gemini. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Just throwing that out there. Some of you may be on the cusp of Gemini. Or of Gemini somewhere in your chart. Whoa. Also a Cancer card. Hmm. All right. What do you want? What's got to go? What's coming in? What you got to do? What's the outcome? That's not too shabby. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the moon reversed. Clarity. Clarity. The sun is coming up. The path is being lit.
Pisces on the board, Sagittarius on the board, Cancer, Gemini. Okay. Okay. Why the two of cups for cancer strength? Three of pentacles. It feels so effortless, doesn't it? I feel like some of you don't have to try. Things just kind of happen and come together for you. Why is the King of Swords here for the weakness? Two of Cups reversed in the Nine of Wands. You break hearts, don't you? Sometimes things come together a little bit too easily. It just ends in non-emotional decisions, disconnects, and they give me one on this nine of wands, one on the nine of wands. Combativeness, guard being up, lack of victory. Probably what leads to these ten of swords moments, doesn't it? I'm not going to clarify that ten of swords, though. We're not going to open up that wound for you. Why is the queen of swords here for what cancer wants? Why the queen of swords? of Pentacles. Oh. Hit the floor. Might be important. I feel like you want to know the truth about someone and like what they really have to offer, what they really truly have to offer you. Before you make a decision in haste, one on this two of swords reversed, four cups reversed. You want to know what's in the damn cup. <laughs> I ain't going to give that cup a second look if I don't know what's in it. Oh, wow. What's got to go? Let's return. Okay, why the Eight of Cups reversed for what's got to go? Shadow side. Nine of Cups reversed. Justice. This this feels like return toxic return pattern is what this feels like. And it's gotta be cut out for balance to come back in. It's like you get this feels so so merry go round. So merry go round. It's 
a toxic pattern. It comes together so easily, it's almost effortless. And then when clarity comes in, and you find out more information, you end up disconnecting from it and it doesn't end in victory. You do things a little bit too quickly. It is your strength and your weakness. There's another one of them. Huh? You're just stuck in this pattern. This pattern is what has to go. Why the Eight of Wands for what's coming in? Why the Eight of Wands? Thank you. King of Cups reverse chariot upright. The sun is shining, but I hear rain on my roof. Anyway. Huh. Okay. Nine of Swords. Fast movement, fast communication, possibly being pulled in two different directions, but the chariot is in the upright, could just be forward movement. Anxiety, lack of emotion. your card by the way the lovers a choice it's a choice it's a choice it's a divine connection being pulled in two different directions it's a choice why the lovers queen of wands And death. <coughs> Knowing what you want and going after it. Or allowing it to end gracefully. Why the Queen of Wands? I love the Queen of Wands, but she's not a thinker, she's a doer. Six Pentacles and the High Priestess. There's a pull here. There's a pull here. You don't want to make a decision with haste. You want to know what's in the cup. But you really want it. <coughs> Why is the high priestess here for what you got to do? Five of swords reversed. And the Knight of Swords. That's self-honesty. That's understanding patterns and changing patterns. <coughs> I feel like y'all got something coming back that's going to try to pull you away from your destiny. It's a merry-go-round. I feel like it's got to be cut out. You're being guided, and when we are guided, we are tested at the same time. <laughs> Why 
Why is the Knight of Cups the outcome? Why the Knight of Cups? It was in the upright when it showed itself to me. The strength. Hermit reversed. <sighs> Why the hermit reversed? feel like some of you are going to overthink this. Some of you are going to hold back. Hold back your cup or hold back from taking a cup because it's past experience. You're being given a choice to let something go or to move toward it. Cancer, why do you confuse me? What's at the bottom of your deck? The magician, the ability to manifest new things. There's clarity coming in in a situation. It's up to you what you guys do with it. I think I need to be done for the day, though. <laughs> I really think I need to be done for the day. What is... Okay, I need an oracle message for cancer. Wisdom oracle, give me a message, please. Message for cancer for November round two. I'm shaking this bench right now. You guys got Observer too. Scorpio also got Observer. Number 49. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Maybe some of you need to take a step back before you make a decision. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much so, so much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need to distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. It is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Illumination. You need to take a step back. And observe. Alrighty, Cancer, this has been your November round two. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys in the next.